Hi, and welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. Today, we're going to be making the Not McCarty Cocktail. Now, the McCarty Cocktail is made with McCarty Rum. I'm not a huge fan of McCarty Rum. It's a good rum. It's not my favorite rum. So we'll be using my favorite rum today, Rougarou Rum Shine. So I guess we can call this a Rougarou Cocktail. I don't know. We'll figure out a name for it later. Start off with going three ounces of rum. So that's going to be two ounces. So that's going to be it on our rum. You want to use a light rum for this. Next we go with our lime juice. We are using a bottle lime juice because we're cutting our carbs down. You use your fresh lime juice, that'll add two grams of carbs. Um, actually, it will add four grams of carbs because it's going to be two ounces of lime juice. So using a bottle lime juice, the concentrated lime juice, we'll be saving four carbs from our cocktail. So that's two ounces of lime juice. Now, on a traditional Bacardi cocktail, it calls for grenadine. Grenadine is going to be very high in carbs. So what we use as our substitute for grenadine is a cran pomegranate juice, the diet version. It's going to have two grams of carbs per eight ounces, and that's going to be a quarter carb per ounce, and this is going to call for one ounce of this. So we're looking at quarter carb. So, so far, if you've been doing the math and you're following along with us, rum, zero grams of carbs. The lemon juice, zero grams of carbs. Quarter gram of carbs. And lastly, just a touch now, they say quarter ounce of sugar is what the recipes call for. So we're just gonna go with a quarter ounce of a sugar-free simple syrup. Now, one ounce has two grams of carbs. With the simple syrup made with Splenda, half an ounce, or actually a quarter ounce. We have about a half an ounce of carbs in our cocktail. Then get some ice in our shaker. Put all that together. Let's give it a good shake, about 10 seconds, and let's go. What you want to do next is go ahead and get yourself a chilled cocktail glass or coupe glass. I have my coupe glass right here. And we're going to go ahead and strain this into our coupe glass. And there you go. And this volume will serve you know, maybe two cocktails this size. Now, if you want to garnish this, if you serve with friends or something like that, what I like to do is just put a lime wheel. And just one nice lime wheel. Go ahead and put that little cut in there so it sits on the glass. And there you have it. The not Bacardi cocktail. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like our videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. As a matter of fact, tell me what your favorite cocktail is. Let's see what I can do to make that little card for you. Oh, don't forget, click subscribe. You have a great night.